Hello everyone, I gotta make sure it's actually recording this time because there's gonna be a lot to talk about because I just got tons of sticky notes and things to share. Um, but first of all, my good friend Ashley Kidney had her baby this morning, so congratulations. I'm so proud of you, and I can't wait to hear all about it when I come out there in about a month. Okay, that's my side note. All right, so, uh, yes, there is literally a sea of sticky notes here, uh, so I have to hold it very gingerly because they always try to fall off. Um, okay, <clears throat> uh, we'll start Huntington stuff. Um, let's see. Oh, yes. So, right here next to my bed, I always have sticky notes. Um, but I was going to pull out them to use them. And instead, I took the napkin that I had on my dresser and put it where the sticky notes are. So, that was really weird. Um, Okay, and I whacked my knee on the bedroom door. I keep running it into the door, whether it's hitting my elbow or, and I also stubbed my toe on the closet door. So there's just a lot more bonking on things. Um, I really think we need to look into finding a way to make a padded suit for Huntington's people because there's just a lot of bonking going on, okay. Two, two sticky notes down. Whoa, heaven, see, they, they start trying to fall off. Okay. Um, putting on my pants, I whacked my uh, toe on the bed, which was weird because I shouldn't do this, but I was trying to stand up doing it because there's a space underneath the bed, um, then the bed frame, and I had my foot in the air and then kicked it and it hurt really bad. So now, if for some reason, I'm always trying to do that while I'm standing up. Uh, so now, mental note to sit down, because uh, it's a lot safer that way. Another sticky note down. Okay. Um, right. Oh, yes. I for Oh, right. This is happening a little bit more that I'll forget if I took with my medication or not. So I'm probably going to come up with a plan. Some plan. Oh, right. I might get those, um, you know, weekly medicines, and that way the specific day I can see if I did take it or not. But that's just happened a couple of times. Uh, let's see. Yes, walked into the oh, into walked into the doorknob again. Oh yes, on my door. Yeah. Okay. Walked into my door. Oh, again. Yes, and whacked the wall with my hand. Oh yes, I guess I was trying to pick a fight with the wall, um, and the wall won. All right. Was reminding myself, oh yeah, this was interesting, uh, to, when I was coming upstairs, I usually repeat myself whatever I'm trying to remind myself of. So I was saying Pandora, um, and, oh yes, I was supposed to check Pandora and the weather, and instead I pulled, on my phone, I pulled up Facebook and started a search in the, you know, hit search, so that was really weird. Another one down. We're almost done with the sticky notes. Okay. Yes, I almost wrote on my phone with a pen um, while I was texting, so that was weird. Tried to put my coffee Oh, yes. So I have my coffee up here in my cup and I was drinking it and I went to, I was going to put the scarf away that I also was holding and you know, held up the coffee like I was putting the coffee in the closet. So that was kind of funny. Oh, this one hurt. I've done it a couple of times, um, but put the shoehorn on backwards and didn't realize until I pulled it out and it really hurt. So note to self, make sure it's the right way. Oh yes, and hit my knee on the steering wheel. I'm always bonking myself in the car too. All right. Oh yes, oh yay. So I'm gonna do the Huntington stuff first, but then a couple things to discuss. Um, so I've been noticing more with lips, um, uh, you know, more ticks there. Also, my mom thinks it's a tick um, when I close my eyes a lot. 
Um, cause I do that, especially when I'm tired, I just like keep doing that. So I think, um, that might be uh, a facial tick too. Um, yes, almost opened the pin on my finger. Yes. For some, it's like, it's like I, anyway, yes. Yeah, so I had it in my hand and then tried to open it. Oh no. On my finger like that. So I don't know. I must forget what pins are actually for and that they hurt when you poke yourself with them. Okay. I hit my arm on the doorknob at the dentist. Hit my elbow hard on the seatbelt holder in the car. Yes, of course. I mean, who can hurt themselves on that? Me. I can. Um, oh, yes. This was. Uh, opened the garage door when I was going to walk out, but closed it again um, before I actually um, went out of the garage. So, um, yes. Oh, yes. I'm still combining words when I'm writing them, and I wrote... Um, about or tried to write about boil and I wrote a boil you can see it. yes a boil so that was yes interesting combinations I'm coming up with there um, stab my finger with the fork oh yes yeah, so I had uh, forks were hurting me a lot one day um, just in the morning while I was eating breakfast stabbed uh, my finger with the fork while doing the dishes and the same day I stabbed my gums. I've never done that before, but it just went too far back in my mouth. Um, so while I was eating and then again, further back in my mouth while I was eating. So um, that has never happened. Um, and then I was giving Jen a hug and I was holding uh, some paper scissors, no, the more pointy scissors. And I poked her, uh, stabbed her hand. Uh, so maybe I could just avoid sharp objects, um, but I haven't had that happen again while, you know, stabbing myself with a fork since then, so that's good. All right, I'm almost done here. I whacked my elbow on the box of wine that was on the counter. I was getting a pencil off the fridge that hurt, but thankfully it, it didn't fall down. And, oh yes, okay. So now, um, just, uh, you know, I go to the women's um, meeting uh, for church on Wednesday nights, and um, there was a person I hadn't met yet, and she uh, shared her story about losing her baby um, about a year ago, and her little one was about a year old, and my heart just, like, broke for her, and um, so I was able to talk a little bit about you know, not having my kids and how I'm always um, grieving, especially if I see little babies and that. So um, I'm hoping God will give us opportunity to connect more because um, there's going to be a potluck that the lady um, is having, the lady who leads it. And so I know she'll be there too, um, but just want, looking forward to, um, you know, connecting deeper with her um, Yes, but because of that, when I got home, because I was talking about my kids, um, then I really was missing them again, and it's definitely increasing the amount of missing them, um, but still not to that point where I just break down completely, but just more, um, more crying about it lately, uh, which is good. I know it's good for me to get it out. Oh, okay. Uh, so now the song that I'm picking, um... I love J.J. Heller, and my favorite CD got stolen. It's called Me, uh, Me Without You, uh, when somebody went through the car and stole my CDs. So I just ordered it again, and I forgot like how much I love that CD, but especially this one song um, that I've chosen for today. Um, it's called um, what, Re what Love Really Means. Um, and especially I'm tagging you down because, um, these kind of stories and songs really, really relate with what my dad and I have gone through in our relationship. So, um, so yes, um, you know, God's done a lot of healing and this, so dad, I'm thinking about you when I, um, put this song on there and I'm going to tag you too. Oh, I totally forgot. Oh my gosh, I've got to read death. I got so into all this stuff, but look, now I can cross that off. Actually, I'm going to do that now so I don't forget and do it again for a second time. All right, so um, 
this also is awesome. Um, it's No Insignificant People is the title. Um, my God, with his loving kindness, will meet me. Psalm 59.10 To some of us, there often comes such a sense of vastness of things and of our own insignificance that we can be a... Oh, that it can be a shaking thing. It can even shake our faith and our faith in the truth that our Father regards with compassion even the fall of a single sparrow. To me, one of the proofs that God's hand is behind and all throughout this marvelous book we know as a Bible is the way it continually touches upon this very fear in us. The fear that we are so insignificant to be forgotten, that we are nothing. Unconsciously, his word meets this fear and answers it, not always by a direct statement, but often by, a, by giving a simple, loving little story. Daniel, for instance, was so overwhelmed by his supernatural vision of the vast, majestic march of history and the glory of the Lord that his physical strength vanished until a hand touched me. Daniel 10, 8. John, looking through the thin veil of time into eternity, saw the, his Lord. The Lord he had seen pierced while holding in his hand seven stars. John declares, I fell at his feet as though dead. Immediately, just as though this fallen one mattered more than the seven stars, as though there were no stars, he placed his hand upon me. Revelation 1, 16. Isn't it beautiful that there are no rebuke at all for the human or human weakness? And there is never a rebuke for our weakness either. The soul of the wounded calls for help, but God does not regard it as foolish. He comforts, he lays his right hand on the soul, wounded by weariness or fear or any kind of weakness at all. And he says, as if that one were the only soul in all the universe, O man, greatly beloved, fear not, peace be unto thee, be strong, ye be strong. Daniel ten nineteen. And there's here's a prayer at the end. My father as if I am the only one in your universe right now, as if you are all that matters in mind. Forgive me the days I thought that that meeting with you was insignificant compared with all I had to do. I come quietly to meet you, Father, needing to be loved and needing to love you. So there's your catch up of what day? Monday. And um, yeah, so hope you guys are encouraged and I will talk when I have more to say.